Okay, my name's Ian Snook, I'll be obviously from New Zealand, <laughs> my rugby. Started when I was five years old playing rugby and then would stop. And now I'm a bit older than five. So played rugby till I was about 30, then started coaching. And I've been lucky enough to coach in seven different countries and now eight in Croatia. So, you know, just the typical New Zealand kid whose life's revolved around rugby. My current occupation is retirement. Um, I've recently given up coaching full time. So I'm spending more time with the grandkids back in New Zealand. And um, after I left Croatia, I'm off to London for a couple of weeks to catch up with some friends and uh, no doubt drink more beers and eat more food like I have been here. <laughs> okay, well, I've been lucky enough to be up to pull up and see the amphitheatre and jumped in for a swim. Where were we, David? Uh, we were in Opatia. 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 So that was one trip and just recently we've got back from uh, Bromvik. No. Bromnik, and um, obviously it's a pretty impressive place down there. And we were also taken to an island for lunch, and um, yeah, went out in the boat. So it's a, obviously a very impressive place down Bromnik, and you know, for me to be able to see that has just been fantastic. I've enjoyed Zagreb, I've been into town a few times, into the city. Um, I just enjoy the buzz of the place and the trams and the shops and the coffees. And, and the women? And there are a lot of good women, <laughs> I must admit. Okay, the solution to be a difficult one, I'll leave that up to Dave. Obviously the problem you've got is playing numbers, there's a lot of sports that rank ahead of rugby in Croatia, so you're fighting a battle of lack of numbers and lack of finances. And it, you know, there's just a lot of enthusiastic rugby people around that are keeping it going, uh, like at this club here. You know, there's a lot of good people. This club's not unlike a small club in New Zealand, with good people doing lots of things, giving up their time, guys playing rugby and enjoying each other's company. And I mean, that's what rugby's about. And, um, I think you're pretty lucky with what you've got here and the, and the people that are involved. Well, basically we talked about how do you construct a game where everyone's not following after the ball all the time and they understand what spacing is about and what's going to happen next in the game and, and anticipate what might be the next event. So we talked a lot about tubbing, which you guys have been studying and looking at them, looking at us and looking at the ball and, and then making some decisions because and the point I was trying to make on that seminar was the fact that if you look and you think and you act and um, you're going to be a far better rugby player than just chasing after the ball. Well I'm not sure if they understood everything but there certainly seemed to be a lot of cooperation and we went outside in the afternoon did a few activities and the people got involved. And what I did do is I used the coaches rather than players so then they don't stand back and just talk. And um, oh, I'm, I'm hoping that it sent a good message across and that they got one or two things out of it. I always think if you have a, uh, do something like that and a person picks up one thing, then they're better for it. And so anyway, I enjoyed the day, so I hope, hopefully they did as well. Well, I mean, it's important for any country that they just keep updating and I know they have these sort of things all the time and a lot of the information that I presented at that seminar I got when I went and listened to the All Black coaches a few years ago and they were giving the information out and you use that and you develop it and um, so a lot of it was based on you know, coming from the highest level anyway. I'm not sure, I've just, uh, there's been a lot of it. Um, so I don't know that I'd have any favourite, I've enjoyed it all. I'm not really a, a food man. I did enjoy my muesli and my yogurt for breakfast. What do we drink, Dave? He's not here. We, what, I 
quite often order just a local beer, and I mean, a beer is a beer, isn't it? So it tastes the same all over the world. No, I didn't find any old enough. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, they, there's certainly a lot of good looking girls walking around the streets, there's no doubt about that. Well, I'll see how long David lasts, and I might, if he's still here, I'll no doubt come back and uh, spend a bit of time with him, make sure he's behaving. I'm not sleeping on the couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we might have to update the facilities, but you yeah, know, I've really enjoyed it, and um, I'd just like to thank everyone for having me here and uh, being so friendly and helpful. Check it, what the fucking man, who the let you notice that other niggas rap styles is focus doo doo compared to this versatile voodoo, blazing the stuff that ain't nice to be a lace inside ya, cause I be that house.